हाई फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक यू ऑल फॉर वॉचिंग माई चैनल कॉन्टीन्यूसली इन दिस वीडियो ऑफ टूडे आई विल टेल यू हाउ यू कैन रिमूव अर्थ लाइनिंग और नॉइज और हॉरियंटल बार लाइन्स बट बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एट सो गाइज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो प्रेस बेल आइकन so that you keep getting regular update in this video i will explain 10 to 12 reasons for earth lining horizontal bar lining or noise and also explain the solution for it if you will watch this video till last definitely you will be able to solve any type of lining problem so let's start now so first of all we need to know about ground loop and noise problem ground loop is a type of interference that generate horizontally bar rolling lines on the screen of your monitor or led tvs these horizontal bar lines and any other type lining are on the display screen are known as noise problem so now let's understand one by one the reason of these linings and the what are the solutions so friends let's understand the problem and the solution one by one so first one is poor connections always check the power supply and coaxial cable connections because sometime problem may arise with these poorly made connections don't be in hurry while while making connections don't be in hurry and always remember proper connections ensures the smooth operation of the system and avoid a headache for long time always remember there should be not any loose connections between the coaxial cable and power cable quality bnc and dc connectors also good quality coaxial cable or uh, and also you need to use proper power supply because you know to work properly all security devices need power supply according to manufacturer's manual security devices should receive enough current to operate properly and if technical specifications are not met problem related to interference noise may be also appear next reason is selection of ntsc and pol if you are using dvr nvr or cameras then all devices should be in same pol mode if you are using in india or and in other countries select according to your country frequency standard ntsc or pol in if you are using in india then you need to select it on pol if you have selected it in uh, dvr pol but in camera is it is already in ntsc mode then you will face lining problem on the screen so there should be uh, setting in pol mode in both camera or nvr or dvr for a frequency standard setting uh, in which country which frequency standard is being used you can watch my previous video i will attach or give link in description next step is camera mode selections if you are using hd camera and uh, in camera it in dvr it is selected tvi mode then you will face lining problem on the display screen so your camera mode will be same as it is it has been set in dvr next one is change power supply and adapter of dvr if you have done 
everything properly every collection connections properly even after they are, you are facing lining problem or noise on the screen then once try to change dvr adapter or dvr power supply cause some oem manufacturers are not manufacturing good quality power supply so dvr is not getting proper output in that case also line may be appear and dvr adapter should be at least 2 ampere plus output so once change dvr adapter or its power supply definitely this will solve your lining problem and next one is utp cable when you are using network cables that is utp cables with balloon it is necessary to use quality oriented cable try to avoid using cat 5 e cable because in some situations it creates problem because of poor quality good quality utp balloon in case of you are using video balloon you need to fix it properly and you need to remember in case of hd and cvi cameras it will work up to 300 meter but in case of tvi cameras it will work only up to 200 meter so while making connections remember these things and always use good quality utp video balloon if you are using hd cameras use perfect volume video balloon for hd cameras and also for other cameras 4k you need to use for snr ssnr and dnr setting in camera snr means super noise reduction ssnr means samsung super noise reduction and dnr means digital noise reduction these are image processing technique which aims to eliminate visible noise from an image this is also great technology to improve improve image quality in low light and lower bandwidth electrical cable distance during installation separate coaxial cable at least 1 feet that is 30 cm away from the electrical cable to avoid electromagnetic interference if separation distance is not possible then try using good quality coaxial cable with maximum possible number of braiding you can uh, understand it by ground cables there should be maximum number of braiding or braid wire it will help you to avoid interference by electrical now let's us understand these are the basic problems and solutions now let's understand ground loop in detail and how you can solve this problem we will explain in detail as i earlier explained ground loop is a type of interfer interference that generate horizontal bar rolling lines on the screen to your monitor or led tv then identify ground loop so you need to do only one thing you take a multimeter and put one test probe on camera chassis or camera body and other test probe on dvr chassis or nvr chassis or body if there is a voltage difference between these points it can generate an electric loop that circulate through coaxial cable between the devices and this will be reason for horizontal bar lines or disturbing lines or grainy display so how you can remove it or if you want to understand these things in detail so you can understand with these images so in first image as you can see there are three devices d1 d2 and d3 so try to connect ground point of each devices 
on a single grounded point so there will be no potential difference no voltage difference so you will find that there should be no horizontal bar line on display uh, and in other image you can see there are three devices d1 d2 and d3 and these three devices are separately connected to ground point so there is a voltage difference d1 between d1 and d2 you can see a ground difference a2 minus a1 or yeah, v2 minus v1 and between d2 and d3 you can see a difference between uh, that is a3 minus a2 so if there will be a voltage difference between the devices then this bit will create horizontal line on display screen so what are the solutions connect all devices first one is connect all devices to single ground point so that there will be no potential difference between them so there will be no horizontal lines other method in some metallic constructed building or on electric pole put the insulated material that is wooden pvc bracket if you will be will put this wooden or pvc bracket or box there will be no potential difference so you can solve this problem by putting insulation material between the camera and the pole or electrically electrically constructed building third one is there should be a proper distance between electrical cable and coaxial cable minimum distance for it should be 1 feet or 30 cm plug inversion if you are a cctv pro professional then you already know about the speed dome cameras and optical zoom cameras which work on 24 volt ac supply are being used in that case invert the outlet pins that connect to power supply rotating the plug and plugging it in with inverted pins can eliminate the effect of the interference but need to remember it will not work in case of 12 volt dc power supply it will work only 24 volt ac power supply if you have tried all above mentioned method even after you are not able to solve the problem then you can use ground loop or isolator so this will uh, turn voltage into in into zero volt in the coaxial cable and pass clear video signal so it will eliminate the disturbing line from the display screen so you can use ground loop isolators please like share and subscribe the channel thanks for watching the video